index, putting this on the video, will be right here on the sixth fret of the A string. Then your, you want your second finger, your middle finger, to be on the same fret. Okay, it's gonna be on the same fret, but on the first string, the E string. There you go. Now, you're going to skip a string and put your ring finger on the seventh fret, okay, of the third string, the G string, and then your pinky will scoot all the way up to the eighth fret, okay, of the second string, okay, the B string. There you go. Isn't that crazy? That's called an E flat major seven. Now, the, the trick is the D string, you don't want to ring out. So you kind of like dampen it by tilting your finger over there. There you go, you got it, sounds good. So look at those chords though. You have this crazy one, which takes a while to, to master. So you wanna try fretting it and then taking your hand off and fretting it again. But we're gonna do the, this G minor, which we, to the E flat major seven. Yes, sir. That's a G minor to the E flat major seven. Very nice, good memory, very good. Good. And then check this one out, D seven, which is an upside down D. Look at that, isn't that strange? You take, you, you're gonna switch up your fingers. Take your middle finger, put it on the second fret of the third string, index finger on the first fret of the second string and your ring finger is going to be on the second fret of string one. There you go. So on string one, actually you just moved it to string two. There you go, bud. Okay, and strum that. That gives it that dominant seventh, which is really twenty seven. Because so it's so in context it's like like that. You know, so um, so let's let's uh, let's start from the beginning. That's a lot, okay. But that's it. It just repeats, okay. Like great, okay, okay. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's got it's got this long intro. Hold on. there. 